That's happy cow stuff going on there. Got the steers moved. I'm still in the process of packing everything up, but they're finding every blade of actual grass and green because they were over here until about 20 minutes ago and they are very happy. So I still got to pack up the corral, get all that moved. Of course, I'm going to have to chase the turkeys out of there who have decided to move in and take advantage of everybody's absence. Tails are coming in, their flight feathers are coming in. They're losing the downy look. And they get the zoomies all the time. All right, well, I put on this little uh, piece here to be the other side of the gable. Uh, first thing I had to do was straighten out the cut here at the top of the door. So I made that level. And uh, then I just put a small piece of backer here to give, uh, to give it plenty to chew into. And now I'm just gonna run uh, like a little bit of framing around the sides before um, just capping it and then putting the metal roof on. All right, it's ready to have the roof put on, the metal sheeting, uh, but it's all in pretty rough shape. It's been sitting in the elements and getting scratched up in the pile, so it's pretty bad. So I need to hit it with a uh, with a layer of paint, and this will dry pretty quickly. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to put the hardware on for the latch. There it is. Now I need to mount it. What I'm going to do is put in a couple of fence posts out there, two of them, and then I'll use three inch screws, several of them going just through as many points as I can into those because this turned out to be pretty heavy because as you can tell, I used a lot of wood. Uh, I just, I tend to over engineer things and that's what I did. Um, the roof I did just like I did on the brooder and the coop, uh, the smaller coop. Uh, which is instead of putting a cap on the roof, I overlap and uh, that allows hot air to escape, but it'll still keep water from going down in. Uh, my only concern is that, you know, wasps and stuff getting in there. I may pre-treat, you know, meaning I'll spray up on the inside of that thing before I install the electronics just to make it unappealing for anybody who wants to live in there. The other thing that was weird is this, uh, this, this hasp that I put on here to reach around the, um, oops, sorry, I just demonstrated it, to reach around and hook on. I don't really think it's supposed to be used that way. And the reason I say that is because the screws that are used to put in the body of the latch uh, sink in quite deeply, right? The screws that are used to put in the, uh, the hook mechanism, or the eye, rather the eyelet mechanism, um, line up perfectly with those screws and if they are the ones that come with the package and they're nice and long they're going to hit these screws so clearly not meant to share the same space what I did is I went and I had some other uh, shorter screws that I that I used instead um, I don't think there's going to be a problem with them holding it's not putting a lot of tension on this but it was just a modification I had to make in order to get that to work but otherwise I'm pretty pleased with the way it came out and now I just need to, uh, to get it put in place.
and that's where it's going to go. So why put it there? Well, the gate won't hit it. I've got plenty of separation with the gate. Uh, it will be hidden behind a column. My plan is to build columns in front of the posts and they're going to be three feet wide. So, you know, two cinder blocks in diameter, well, square. Uh, so three feet by three feet and six feet tall. This will be completely hidden by the post when the, when the, when the column is built. And uh, the other is it's close enough now to everything so that it can take the power and everything as it comes in. Here's the problem with my design. And you're looking at this and you're saying to yourself one word. You're all saying it. And I hear you. Concrete. Uh, yes, that would have been a fantastic idea. I got so excited to do this. I put the posts in. It's not going to fall over because the holes are actually just a little bit wider than the posts themselves. Uh, but it may lean. And uh, that means that I'm going to have to undo. Uh, not today. But... Yeah, if posts were on the side of each piece, centered, and then it could, I don't know, I could still do it. I could still do two more posts, so almost so that it has four feet. Uh, I got to think about it. But anyway, I think uh, that's it for that. Next is going to start working on the electronics, which means figuring out where the wiring needs to go, what extra wire I need, because... The wire that's on this actuator is this long. That's where the power box is going to be. And so it's going to have to go from here over there underneath this. So that's another project. So I got to get all the wiring run. I gotta figure out where my solar panels are gonna go, which I've kind of thought about already, but I'll give it a minute to percolate before I say anything. Then I've gotta run the solar controller to the power, the battery banks to the power, make sure that's all set, then do all the programming of it so that the remotes work, so that it's opening just the right amount. There's still a fair amount of stuff that needs to be done, but not tonight. That's as much as I'm gonna do. Uh, I think that's going to do it from here. We'll talk to you guys later.